What's going on everybody? It is Loki Predator here, aka Henry, and you know this is gonna be some of my own gameplay for once. You know it's been a while since I've actually uploaded my own gameplay. This is uh some PKP Petchnagging um drop zone. Yes, I know I do a lot of drop zone. It's honestly my favorite game type in infected. Uh <laughs> what what did I just say? I said it's my favorite game type in infected. Okay. <laughs> uh it's my favorite game type in MW3. Okay, that there I corrected myself. You no need to comment below saying that I fucked up, but anyway, um, I just want to give you guys some LMG tips. It's been a while since I've talked about the gameplay, really, and I also have nothing else to talk about. So let me just start off this by saying LMGs, if used properly, are great, and you know you can that can be said for every gun in the game, but LMGs, honestly. Okay, if you, if you follow these tips, I can almost guarantee you, you will do well with LMGs, especially in this game type. In this game type, LMGs are very useful for ho holding down a drop zone, um, if you can get behind cover, if you can lay prone. By the way, if, if you didn't know already, LMGs have zero recoil when you're proning. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you know that already, so I don't know why I said it. But, anyway, what you always want to put on an LMG class, and this is always, this is no question is a silencer and the two attachments proficiency alright so basically the silencer has zero negative effects on all the LMGs so that means there's no damage reduction for range on any of the LMGs with the silencer and I don't know if that if they meant to do that just to like make the LMGs a little bit better or if they it's probably just a glitch that they're too lazy to fix actually but uh anyway it's the truth so there is literally no reason to not use a silencer on your LMG and um, the two attachments is so you can either use a red dot or a grip. Now grip is um, it's a lot better than kick. Let me just say that uh, I've seen tests by like some bigger YouTubers. They did tests uh, like recoil tests against walls, kick versus grip, and grip is better. So that's why I'd recommend using grip. Um, but uh, main reason for two attachments: most LMGs have probably the shittiest iron sights in the game. So red dot is highly recommended, especially on the M60. The M60 has the worst iron sights I have ever seen in my entire life. The PKP Pechneg and um, the L86 are probably the only uh, LMGs where the iron sights are bearable. But even then, like red dot, you will benefit so much from it. Um, and lastly, I would just like to say the best perk to use with an LMG is Stalker. Now some might disagree and say Marksman, just so you can like pick people off at these long ranges and you know I would say marksman if you're gonna run specialist uh, put marksman as your first unlock because it definitely does help especially if you're using the iron sights because iron sights are pieces of shit on LMGs but um stalker you honestly you aim down sight uh, walk I don't know exactly what to call that like walking while you're aiming down sight you do that very slowly with LMGs and stalker helps so much like you can just round corners with stalker spray people down with your huge clip like right here, with Stalker, see? I probably wouldn't have killed that guy if I didn't have Stalker. Well, maybe I would have, but it w it's easier with Stalker, that's my point. Now, um, coming up right here, I think the drop zone's about to switch to go here. Ah, uh, never mind. I'm just losing track of the gameplay right now. But anyway, uh, that's been the commentary. If you guys would like to stick around for the rest of the gameplay, by all means, go ahead. And, um, peace the fuck out. Why did I say that that way? I normally say it, peace, and why am I taking so long with my outros? I don't know. But anyway, peace guys, I hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next commentary. By the way, MW3 sucks.